Uh, welcome back to Reynolds Workshop. We're looking today at the uh, NGNO Discovery STEM Newton's Law Kit. Uh, NGNO and the Discovering STEM Company make a whole bunch of these different types of kits. Uh, I have this one in front of me and, and I have I think one more on order that we could look at. Um, this is the one specifically on Newton's Laws of Inertia, uh, Momentum, and uh, Potential Kinetic Energy, right? Uh, if you teach an intro engineering class or a hands-on physics class or something, this might be a good kit to possibly send home with students, and that's what we're trying to accomplish. Um, unboxing these things and looking at the kit will help myself and hopefully other teachers figure out what kits are going to work for you in the event we have to do some distance learning. Maybe you could send this home. Um, it is sort of rated from 8 to 16, so maybe the middle school to early high school range. Uh, it does have interactive instructions uh, that I'm noticing and also on YouTube. So maybe I'll put a link to that in the bottom if I can find the right one. Um, but all in all, it seems like a pretty good kit. This I purchased on Amazon for $32.99, so just shy of $33. And it boasts that you have you know a whole bunch of kits that you can do all in one. And that's kind of what I've been looking for. Instead of buying one kit that does one project, I'm looking for something that's more versatile and I can send home. Uh, because we might be out for weeks or weeks or months or, you know, or forever. So, um, I'll give you an idea what's inside this box here. I, I did open one end. Here it is. Got to open the right end. All right, let's see. Okay, got a big fat instruction book. Kids are going to love that. Um, let's see, a bunch of wheels. Uh, looks like little connectors go in there. Rope and pulleys go in here. They look like kind of like uh, connects, but bigger, beefier. Uh, and then your actual building components there. The instruction book is uh, thick, it's serious here. Um, and basically we can walk you through all of Newton's laws with this. So um, I'm imagining you would study Newton and Newton's laws and go over the basic physics and then utilize this to supplement some of that so you can talk about the history. Uh, I imagine reading this would be fine for most students, uh, especially if they're doing some sort of hybrid and they're at home, they can focus on this for a, you know, a period and then you can supplement. But I'm sure there's videos and things online that are much more dynamic and interesting uh, and up to date. But um, not too shabby, it shows you a little bit of math and science and how this works, that's cool. Um, real life examples that's not too shabby uh potential kinetic energy equations it's kind of nice and then because i'm actually doing this upside down this <laughs> is um a couple of actual questions so this has built in uh, assessment a little bit about your kit that's kind of cool so this isn't just an instruction book this is more of a workbook for students um I don't know if you can get this stuff online, but I'll, I'll take a look and see if I can find a link to that because obviously sending this home with a student, it, you've lost all of your stuff and they'd have to either take a picture and send it back to you or answer these online somehow or you recreate all of this online. Um, not too bad. All right. And then um, it does seem to run these much like a science experiment, so that makes sense that it is a STEM Discover kit. Um, it gives you uh, what materials you'll need, the procedure, and then all the steps on how to do that. And if you scroll to farther in the book, like page 24 here, it shows you how to assemble the actual parts. Um, and this can get hairy because, as I've seen in some of these kits, the parts can either be really difficult to put together or um, the plastic is really brittle and difficult to use or the parts are just way too small for you know, a younger student. Um, so I'll give you an idea here on how this kind of goes together. So if we were looking at building the, the instructions for this, uh, uh, this is some sort of vehicle, I guess, right? Um, these pieces connect onto these pieces and they just snap together. They go together easily. Um, they do rotate, that's kind of cool. They come apart easily. Um, they seem to snap together a little more force than a Lego would need, but they stay together um, better. These guys, I think, clip on here, so you got some rotational axes here. Um, and they're big enough 
to manipulate. Like some of the stuff in the other little kits are so small, they're very difficult to, to handle. Especially if you got, um, you know, a 17 year old football player in your class, it's gonna be tough for that guy to, to manipulate those tiny little Lego pieces or little tiny gears. Um, but these, they clip together pretty, pretty substantially. You can hear that, that very positive click when it comes together, so that's good. Um, and they seem to, to work just fine. Can't complain with that. Um, let's see about this thing. So this is for the this is for the crane model. There's a trebuchet in here that might be fun to play with. Uh, this looks like a crash test car of some sort. That would be cool. Um, the instructions look a little busy. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think I would prefer to see this broken out a little bit, maybe spread out a little, so there wasn't it wasn't so complex. I think a student uh, might get confused on where we are because it's so tightly packed. But you know, that's uh, maybe that's something you can recreate. You give them one section of this at a time or something, right? Um, here's a windmill sort of thing with a crane. So let's see here. It's got a bunch of uh, plastic pulleys and connectors and things which seem to go together just like the other parts. They looks like they clip onto the, the brick parts here. So they clip in and they that one doesn't rotate. That's interesting. Um, does not rotate either. Has some string that comes with it. Small length of string. And this is the elastic material for the uh, trebuchet, I imagine, or catapult or something you're putting together. Um, very interesting. This one does spin, so that's good. I'm not sure, maybe these need a special connector to, to spin or something. Those don't go together. Um, oh, I was looking at the box. I was like, what is this thing? This is, I saw it somewhere in the box. This is to remove the pieces. So um, my understanding is that when these, you know, you get these little tiny guys, this would go in there and break these apart. Um, so that's kind of nice, especially if you got kids with a little bit of dexterity or hand grip strength issues. Um, but all in all, not a bad kit. You got a, a lot of options with these connect sort of plastic connectors. Uh, they don't feel like they're going to break anytime soon. Um, the book actually goes into a lot of the science and the physics behind this, which is great. Instructions are a little compressed, uh, which I'm not super happy with, but that that's not too bad. Um, hey, look at that. Here's a potential energy car. Not too shabby. Um, you get some notes and all the copyright information. This is what's in the kit. So you get a whole gaggle of these, a couple of those, and so on. All right. Um, so 42 pages in that book, four different projects you can make, as well as whatever else you can come up with once the kids have these pieces. I would probably buy a kit for myself and keep it here. So if we were distance learning, I could easily uh, Tell the kids, you know, we're going to build a catapulting race car or something today and combine these things or separate them out into smaller pieces. But um, the uh, Engino Discovery STEM Newton's Laws kit, thirty-two ninety-nine, dollars four different projects with some online interactive instructions and stuff. I think I would try that. I'd give that a shot in class. Interested in your thoughts and comments as well. So I'll put some links and uh, you should put some comments.